shall be for a memorial unto the children of Israel forever. Somebody say forever. Forever. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Verse number eight. And the children of Israel did as Joshua commanded and took up 12 stones out of the midst of Jordan as the Lord spake unto Joshua according to the number of the tribes of the children of Israel and carried them over with them unto the place where they lodged and laid them down there. And Joshua set up 12 stones in the midst of Jordan in the place where the feet of the priests which bear the Ark of the Covenant stood, and they were there unto this day. Let us bow our heads unto the Lord. Dear Lord, in the name of Jesus, we look to you once again this afternoon, and we come to say thank you this afternoon. Thank you for this first day of 2012. Thank you for a new year, God. We thank you that you've been so faithful, so kind, and so loving. We thank you for the opportunity once again to stand in this holy place, we pray in the name of Jesus that you would speak to our hearts this afternoon. Lord, you know of what we've, where we've come and you know what we've been through. And Lord, we just come to say thank you, Lord, as we worship you, Lord, as we uh, sit and as we hear this word this afternoon. We know that you're a God that continues to speak. Have your way in this message. Prepare our hearts to receive your divine seed. Let it lodge within good soil, God. And we'll give your name all the glory, all the honor, and all the praise. We pray for the soul right now that's out of the ark of safety, that today they will come to the saving knowledge of knowing who you are. Hallelujah, that the name of Jesus, hallelujah, is the only saving name. Have your way as our prayer. We ask these blessings right now. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. As you take your seats, please keep your Bible open. I'd like for you to center your attention on verses 22, 23, and 24. And then you shall let your children know, saying, Israel came over this Jordan on dry land. For the Lord your God dried up the waters of Jordan from before you until you passed over as the Lord your God did, thank you, Jesus, to the Red Sea which he dried up before us until we were gone over, that all the people of the earth might know that the hand of the Lord, that it is, what does it say? Mighty. Somebody say mighty. Mighty. That ye might fear the Lord your God forever. For a subject for this afternoon, I'd like to talk to your hearts. Give them something to remember. All right. Give them. What your neighbor said, give them, give them something, something to, remember. to remember. For a subtopic, never forgotten. Never, never forgotten. forgotten. As you look here, this Joshua generation, this passage that we read here, it's right after the time that the spies were sent out, and we find that uh, Rahab allows the spies not to be taken, and she is uh, granted favor, granted mercy. And the children of Israel, they're in the midst of this crossing the Jordan. These stones represent a memorial. And I thought how important it is for us to be able to leave a legacy for this next generation coming on. The legacy has to do with a pattern being set. The Lord, we find here when we look at Jesus, he was the perfect servant leader. In just three and a half years of his ministry, he poured into his disciples his mind. What was the mind of God? In just three years of his ministry, he unbraided their minds of unbelief. In just three years, he set the pattern by healing those that were afflicted, by casting out demons. They not only witnessed the Lord with their eyes, but it was a word picture that was ingrained within their hearts. Yes, yes. Before our Lord even had ascended up into heaven, he said, they said, didn't our hearts burn as the Lord had unfolded his word to them? I want to let you know today that just like um, 
the children here of Israel, they were commanded, these men were to, commanded to take the stones upon their shoulder and to carry them into the midst of the Jordan. We find here that the same God that was with them as they crossed over the Red Sea is the same God that was with that is with them as they come to Jordan. Yes, yes. We find that they also carried the Ark of the Covenant. I want to let you know this new year, God wants every one of us in this auditorium to be able to make a new agreement with God. It's going to take a new commitment to serve God with all of your strength and to give God all of the glory and all of the honor. Yes, we've got some obstacles in this new year, but as I told you last night, God has not given you the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. I told you last night, amen, that the Lord told them to move forward. Hallelujah. You can't do anything what's happened last year in 2011 that you can shape your destiny for this new year in 2012. The Jordan, the waters here represents the troubles that's in our life. The waters here represent sometimes situations and things uh, that we get bogged down with. Yes. The water here represents obstacles and hindrances. But I want to let you know that it may be a hindrance as far as us trying to do it with our own might. But when God's hand gets in the program, there is no hindrance, amen, in the sight of the Lord. Yes, you know verse number 24, the Bible says here, that all the people of the earth might know the hand of the Lord. Yes. That it is mighty that ye might fear the Lord your God forever. Yes. Rahab had enough sense when she had heard about the power of Israel, about the power of the God of Israel. Yes. The Bible says here that those that were around her feared the children of Israel. They feared them because they knew that the God of heaven and earth was on her side. Yes. They feared the children of Israel because they knew that if God was going to fight their battles, there was no way they would be able to fight against God. Hallelujah. I want to let you know today, as we've crossed over to the other side here, you have some testimonies, and your testimonies today are very solid. God has done some things in your life as you look back over your years. Amen. Nobody can take away your testimony. When we look back, God has healed our bodies. God has transformed our minds. Hallelujah. God has picked us up out of the streets of sin and iniquity. There was a time we moved by the course and the power of the air of the enemy. But now the Lord has decided to write his law within our hearts. Amen. Didn't God say that, amen, he was going to write his law within his, in our hearts? And didn't God say that I'm going to give you a new heart? He said, I'm going to take away the stony heart and I'm going to give you a heart of flesh. I want to encourage you this afternoon as we step forward and as we go into new territory, just like the children of Israel, they were getting ready to come to Jericho. Amen. And what they weren't through yet, God was not through with them. I want to let you know in this new year of 2012, uh, the reason why God has brought you this far, because God wants your testimony to be made known. Yes. So we told the children of Israel, I want you to take these stones, huh? and I want you to gather these stones up. Huh? Amen. And I want you to take these stones and put them in the midst of the Jordan. Huh? In other words, take your testimony, huh? and I want your testimony to be placed in the middle of your trouble. Huh? Take your testimony and put them in the middle of your hindrance. Huh? And when your children look back and they say, uh, 
What do these stones mean? Uh, you'll be able to share with them. Uh, this is how God had delivered our forefathers through the Red Sea. Uh, this is how God had delivered us through the Jordan. Uh, I want to let you know that it's very, very, very important uh, for us to be able to leave testimonies behind for the youth. Uh, we're living in a world today where there are not very many good examples. Uh, we have deadbeat dads and we have deadbeat parents. Amen. Uh, but I just believe today that God has got some testimonies working down in the midst of his people. Uh, amen. Only you know what God has done for you. Uh, your testimonies are solid today. Uh, the word God has been a sure foundation by which you stand. Uh, so therefore today I just come to let you know uh, that God said you've got to leave something for them to remember. Uh, amen. It is the will and the testament of God uh, to be able to leave something behind. Uh, the Lord said I'm going away to prepare a place for you. Uh, and they were comforted when they were with the Lord. Uh, amen. But in between time, uh, they need some, They needed something to tie them over. Uh, so the Lord said, if you tarry in the city of Jerusalem, uh, know there if you wait long enough. Uh, and if you praise me and if you worship me, uh, God said, I'm going to send the comforter. Amen. Uh, and when the comforter has come, uh, he will teach you and lead you and guide you into all truth. Uh, don't you know today you have a testimony for what God has done. Uh, God has mixed the power of his divine will uh, with your life experiences. Uh, so when they were filled with the power of the Holy Ghost, uh, we find, amen, that their hearts burned because it was the same Jesus, uh, amen, that walked around with them. Uh, the same Jesus that talked with them. Uh, when God came back in the form of the Holy Ghost, uh, they knew then they were equipped to be able to face every battle. Uh, so the Lord said here, uh, amen, when the Ark of the Covenant, uh, amen, came to the waters, uh, the Bible says that, amen, the water heaped up on both sides. Uh, and God said here, uh, amen, that the waters are going to be held back. Uh, in other words, God has a way of holding back your trouble. Uh, God has a way of holding back hindrances. Uh, God has a way of holding back pressures. Uh, God made a way for you when there was no way to be made. As we look back and we say, yes, uh, amen, this stone represents what God has done. Uh, so we encourage the young people today. Uh, look what God is doing in your dad's life. Uh, look what God is doing in your mom's life. Uh, amen. Look at the seniors today and the testimonies of what God is doing in their life. Uh, but not only is God working in the elderly, uh, not only is God working in those that are up in age, uh, but God says now now there's, some, there's time for you to leave something behind. Uh, in other words, there's got to be some fragments uh, of what God is doing in individual lives. Uh, today you got a fresh testimony. Uh, today you got, amen, the knowledge of God. Uh, and so the Lord says here you got to leave some good behind. Uh, why? Because somebody's going to come after you. Uh, and somebody's going to want to know what does it mean to live for the Lord? Uh, some people are saying today, now it's just too hard to live for God. Uh, now sin is so rapid today. Uh, now the time is so dark today. Uh, but I just want to encourage, amen, those uh, who feel, amen, that they might be grasshoppers. Uh, God will always have a witness. Uh, God will always leave somebody left behind. Uh, out of the 12 spies, only two uh, had a good report. Uh, Joshua and Caleb, they said, give me this mountain. Uh, they had to wait for the old generation to die out. Uh, amen. But as they waited, uh, God said, I'm going to raise up a new generation. Uh, I'm going to raise up a people that's going to be after my own heart. Uh, and these people will carry the word of God down in their hearts. Uh, these people will carry experiences uh, and they will know the hand of the Lord was with them. Uh, I want to tell you today, amen, as we have crossed over on the other side. Uh, I don't know how many more Jordans we got in front of us. Uh, amen. But the same God that took us through last year uh, is the same God that's going to deliver us this year. Uh, The medicine, the myth of our sickness. Huh? Somebody say the same God. Huh? Oh, the same God that kept the enemy back huh? when he was prowling at you. Huh? 
people of God. Yes. That God said, my name is not going to be blasphemed. My name is not going to be made fun of. Yes. In other words, because you carry the name of Jesus, God is not going to allow the devil to run over you. That God is going to show up for you right on time. Now understand this, God may not show up when you want him to, but when he shows up, he's never late. Of the dark before it shows up. When it seems like you don't have anything left in your bank account. When it seems like everything is falling apart. God said, if you could hold on to my word and trust me, God said, I will make a way for you. Amen. When the children of Israel were fast rubbing against the wall, amen. The Pharaoh was chasing them down. And they began to murmur and complain. But the Lord told Moses, so I'm telling you, King Chapel, family and friends this afternoon, this year in 2012, God says, stretch out your rod, stretch out your word, stretch out your testimony.
It shall be an everlasting memorial. Yes, yes, yes. As we stand and get ready to dismiss, we're going to end in worship. Yes, Lord. Giving God praise, giving Him thanks. Mm. And you know what God says today? I want you to be excited because the city of Jericho belongs to you. Yes. God said, I'm bringing you this year. Twelve is God's number of administration. Yes, Lord. Twelve is God's number, amen, of administration. God is going to put some things in order this year. There's been some things in chaos, but God said this year, twelve are going to put in order. Twelve apostles, twelve foundations, hallelujah. Twelve tribes of Israel. 2012 is your year to get your life in order. Let's lift those hands in heaven right now. Oh God, we thank you. Hallelujah. Never forgotten. Never forgotten. This afternoon, if you've not been baptized in Jesus' name, this is for you. If you've not been filled with the power of the Holy Ghost, this is for you. Mm, thank you, Jesus. The Lord said, this is your heritage. You may not have any money to leave your children, but you can leave a testimony. Come on, somebody. You can leave them a good life. Thank you, Jesus. So, Lord, we just want to say this year, help us to leave good things behind that others can pick it up. They can say, look at the testimony of the Lord. Look what God has done. The Jericho that's in front of you, hold on. God said, hold on, young people. We we'll walk around the walls one day, six days, and on the seventh day, seven times, and give a shout. God told me to tell you this afternoon, Jericho belongs to you. Come on. God told me to tell you this year that you're going to drive your enemies out. Hallelujah. Don't you dare take the old enemies of last year to this year. This is the year that you're going to receive houses you didn't build, vineyards you didn't plant. This is the year you're not going to have to work for God. So you're going to be able to walk into your territory. Walk into your joy. Walk into your peace. driving them out. Yes, Lord. So fear is being pushed away. Yes. Mm, doubt is being pushed away. Yes. Sometimes we're apprehensive and hesitant about going forward because we don't know where God is leading us. But let me tell you today, God never leads you the wrong way. That's right. Thank you, Lord. Wherever God guides, He will provide. Yes, yes. Give them something to remember. Never forgotten. If you want to be baptized, you could come. If you want prayer today, you could come. Grab your neighbor's hand next to you as we're ready to go home. Lord, we thank you. Oh God, we're so happy this afternoon. Thank you, Jesus. Joshua generation. Only, somebody say only. Only. Only be thou strong and very courageous. There are no other options right now in order for you to maintain your ground. You must only be strong and very courageous. In order for you to be strong, you got to know that the name of Jesus still works for you. You got to know that prayer still works. Hallelujah. You got to know that when you mix your prayer with your fasting, God said, something's only come out by this. So we're going to keep on praying. We're going to keep on fasting. Hallelujah. God's going to make a way out of no way. As we hold our brother and our sister's hand as we get ready to go home, I want to remind you, is this the month of consecration? We want you to take your 20 days this month and turn the plate over. 
going to be fasting from 12 midnight to 4 in the afternoon, Monday through Friday. The weekends are yours to, to eat. Take Monday through Friday and fast. Get your 20 days in. This year, God is going to do great things, even greater things with us because we've crossed over. Amen? Because we went through the Jordan. Hallelujah. You went through your trials. Went through your pain, through your heartache, through your sickness. God wouldn't have brought you through on the other side to leave you hanging. Hallelujah. So now, Lord, we dedicate ourselves to you in this consecration as we turn our plate over. At the end of this month, Amen. And we'll have foot washing and communion. And we'll go forward and we'll possess the land. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. As you grab your neighbor's hand, let's bow our hands this afternoon. Dear Lord, we say thank you, Lord, for this message. Thank you for this first day of 2012. Lord, why? You love us so much. We don't know, but Lord, we appreciate you. Help us this year to love you in a greater way. Help our service to be that of excellence in everything that we do, God. Because Lord, we represent you. To a world that says there is no God, to a world that says God is not concerned about the affairs of mankind. We stand in opposition to that negative thinking because, Lord, we are the lively stones that you have left behind. We are your witnesses. This week, be with us, Lord. Take us through whatever test or whatever trial. Give us a mind not to murmur. Give us your mind not to complain. Others died out in the wilderness, God, because they refused to believe in you. But Lord, when we come to situations that may feel uncomfortable to the flesh, remind us, Lord, that you're the same God that took us through past times. You're the same God that will allow us to cross over on the other side. Lord, it doesn't matter how long it takes. You will preserve your people. We don't have to be afraid. We don't have to be worried, God. You keep them in complete peace with mind and stay on me. Help us to feast on the bread of heaven that you left in your word this month. This month consecrate and sanctify and set us apart from every evil influence. This month be with us and we'll never forget what you've done. We ask these blessings right now. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name. God bless you this afternoon. Enjoy your New Year's Day. God bless you. No service tonight.